Yeah. Hi students. I am Dr. Badrinath. Yeah. In this video, we will see the bio transformation of drugs. In the body, bio means within the body. Transformation means one drug molecule is converted into another form. See here, this is one drug molecule, one form. This form is converted to another form within the body. That's why this is called a bio within the body. Transformation, one drug molecule changes okay, from one form to another form. Okay, Bio transformation is also called as a metabolism. Already we have completed and uploaded the videos absorption distribution. This video is dedicatively for the metabolism. It is nothing but biotransformation. Okay. And it is also called as a detoxification because it removes the toxicity of the drug molecule. That's why this is called a detoxification. Okay. It happens within the body only. And keep in your mind, this process is also called as an elimination. But excretion is also called as an elimination keep in your mind actually what is excretion excretion ex name itself biggest clue is there excretion x means exit from the body whereas here this is within the body only drug molecule one form to another form this is called a metabolism biotransformation detoxification elimination this is called a excretion, mainly kidney. This is responsible for the excretion. Metabolism takes place in the liver. Liver. Okay. And elimination, actual meaning elimination is nothing but inactivation. So excretion is also nothing but inactivation of the drug because it exits from the body. Biotransformation is also called as a inactivation. That's why elimination is a term. Don't get confusion. It is for using for the both. Biotransformation definitions now we will see. Very simple definition. What we saw, same only. It is a process of conversion of drug molecule from one, one chemical form to another chemical form within the body. Okay. That's what we saw in the first slide itself. I have given the de total definition in the form of diagram. By seeing the diagram itself, you can be able to know what is the definition. Okay. Right. Next important point. Um, it is a process of the conversion of a drug from lipophilic nature to hydrophilic nature. That's why it is excreted in the body. All hydrophilic molecules will be excreted in the urine. Urine is full of water. So lipophilic molecule will be again reabsorbed, reabsorbed in the tubule. In the nephron tubule is there, no? there it is reabsorbed lipophilic molecule. If it is a molecule is converted into hydrophilic, it easily excreted in the urine freely because urine is full of water only. That, that's the point you have to keep in your mind very strongly. Only hydrophilic molecules will be excreted in the urine. Urine is nothing but a water. Right? Yeah. Next. So five types of the biotransformation it leads to. First one is a pharmacological inactivation. Pharmacologically, drug molecule will become inactive because of the biotransformation. Okay. See, phenytoin is very active drug, very active. Uh, it is converted due to biotransformation, it is converted into P hydroxy phenytoin. P hydroxy phenytoin is inactive in nature. So, heading itself is a clue. Pharmacological inactivation. So active drug converted into inactive drug with one example is enough. Enough for regular exams. Okay. Uh, because in textbook number of examples are there. And then the second one, no change in pharmacological activity. Drug molecule from one form to another form. But pharmacological active remains the same. Here also active drug, digitoxin, converted into digoxin. This is also active. See here, active even though transformation is there, it remains active. Whereas the first case, active drug will become inactive. Okay. And third one, toxicological activation. So see here, paracetamol is an active drug. It becomes toxicologically active. Name and see the name toxicologically active. So imidoquinone, it becomes, it is a highly reactive, toxic in nature. Okay. It's a liver toxicity, paracetamol. 
pharma next fourth one pharmacological activation inactive drug will become active see aspirin is wonderful drug actually aspirin is inactive in nature it is a pro drug before the drug just like a pro pro means before okay it is inactive in nature due to biotransformation in the body it is converted into acetyl salicylic acid salicylic acid it is active salicylic acid so inactive will become active this concept is called as a pro drug and change in the pharmacological activity see here anti depressant activity converted into anti tubercular active what is anti where is anti depressant where is anti tubercular no way it is relation actually but what happen ipronazide is a wonderful drug ipronazide it is in the body due to the biotransformation it is converted into isoniazide isoniazide is wonderful drug for the tuberculosis see what a miracles happen in the body due to biotransformation this is the biggest offer uh, for patients one plus one offer is there if patient is suffering with the both diseases anti uh, depression he is suffering with as well as a uh, tuberculosis then doctor has to give a um, ipronazide because it depresses uh, it causes a anti depression as well as it also causes a anti tubercular action one plus one offer bumper offer drug metabolizing organs where the drug will be metabolized means mainly in the liver first 95% of the drugs are metabolized in the liver only okay see liver this is a main metabolizing organ extra hepatic other than the liver remaining only 5% only here other than the liver called as a extra hepatic uh, also called as a pulmonary metabolism pulmonary means nothing but a lungs pulmonary metabolism only to a small extent all these organs first importance is the liver second takes place in the lungs this order is important first importance liver least importance is the skin so liver lungs kidneys also takes place by transformation intestine placenta brain testis muscles spleen all these bio transformation takes place enzymes are two types But this is nothing but a metabolizing enzymes. Microsomal indicated by M, non-microsomal indicated by the N. Okay, major metabolites are the microsomal only. It is present in the ER. Nothing but endoplasmic reticulum. Whereas the N, non-microsomal, is a minor metabolites present in the places other than the ER. But it also causes, but up to a little extent. mainly three phases of reactions are there phase 1 reaction all these are the biotransformation reactions biotransformation types metabolic reactions mainly it is calling as a metabolic reactions phase 1 phase 2 compulsory okay uh, phase 3 also is there but rarely accepted some people they never accept the uh, some textbooks also they never accept the uh, type 3 okay first one is phase 1 is also called as a synonyms these are the synonyms functionalization reaction it makes the pro drug into drug also this type because aspirin is converted into salicylic acid due to the phase 1 that's why sometimes phase 1 reactions are also called as a functionalization reaction it makes a function okay and asynthetic reactions okay phase 2 conjugation reaction conjugation conjugation okay joint conjugation re synthetic reactions okay true detoxification real detoxification because toxicity of the drugs will be removed by in the phase 2 reactions only that's why this is called a true detoxification reactions okay phase 3 very rarely accepted the drugs are excreted in the bile 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 rubin are yellow in color it will be secreted in the gut intestine only that's why your fecal matter uh, in the yellow color why means because of the bile rubin bile rubin only okay so drugs will be excreted in the bile rubin bile rubin uh, in the gut so from that it is entered into the fecal matter example is glutathione very important slide concised very concised because in textbooks there was 2 to 3 kilometers are there running matter 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 that tunnel uh, you have to simplify then only grasping will be there simplification is the secret otherwise it, i made very simplification here see that first one lipophilic okay 
lipophilic drug molecule converted into hydrophilic molecule so that it will be excreted from the body very easily in the urine that point i have already told you so lipophilic molecule converted into hydrophilic is nothing but bio transformation lipophilic uh, see this is a phase one phase one reaction this side a line you see the line here here phase 2 is there so phase one reactions oxidation hydrolysis reduction okay these three are the phase one reactions three all three are phase one see drug is or it becomes oxidized see here oxidation so oxygen is added that's it oxidation takes place hydrolysis i made no lip lipophilic drugs are converted into hydrophilic that's why you have to make a hydrophilic in nature hydrolysis see hydrolysis insertion of oh group it becomes a hydrolysis okay hydrophilic in nature reduction oxidation opposite is a reduction so redox plus hydrolysis phase 1 phase 2 is the glutathione conjugation making a link sulfation addition of a sulfur group sulfation acetylation addition of a acetyl group uh, glucuronidation addition of a glucose glucose is hydrophilic in nature more it becomes a molecule will become a hydrophilic in nature five types are there phase 2 that point you have to keep in your mind 1 2 3 4 5 this point very very important right phase 1 reactions what happen same only i have written here oxidation reduction hydrolysis 3 okay convert a parent drug molecule into more polar as well as active metabolite metabolite also active here that that is very very important okay metabolite is active it is it becomes a polar by unmasking it removes if is there see either by inserting the polar group or if already polar group is there in the molecule it it is hidden by something this phase one reaction it removes that hiding and it exposes the uh, hydrophilic nature of the molecule either it makes a hydrophilic molecule already having a group polar group is already having in the molecule but however it is masked by the some other properties and all okay so it makes the highlight now phase one reactions makes the highlight of the uh, polar groups okay uh, it makes the or it insert if polar group is not there phase one reactions insert to the polar group like hydrolysis and all next <clears throat> geriatric patients having a more phase one react uh, having a decreased phase one reactions increased phase two reaction because phase two geriatric children are phase one uh age old age you know phase 2 like that you can easily remember so easily phase 1 reactions are less in geriatric patients and more in the old patients phase 2 okay drugs are drugs which are having a more longer half life will be excreted through the phase 1 reaction now we come to the phase 2 glucuronidation acetylation sulfation already i already told five types of reaction conjugation takes place uh, and it converts the parent drug molecule into more polar inactive metabolite where i say here you can see more polar active here more polar inactive metabolite will be there and uh, so oh groups Uh, sh group nh2 group sulfate group uh, all these things you drugs are metabolized via phase 2 are renally excreted because it becomes a more hydrophilic in nature okay factors there are number of factors are there uh, that affects the total entire bio transformation system uh, this list you have to write in the examination but you explain only two you write the list in the exam okay total physico chemical properties chemical factors like induction inhibition these two very very important that i will going to explain now okay very simple concept uh, environmental chemicals biological factors like age diet altered physiological imbalance temporal factors all these things are there now we will see only these two what is this induction of drug metabolizing enzyme inhibition of drug metabolizing enzymes okay first we will see kaumarin is a drug okay okay kaumarin these are the kaumarin molecules okay this is a kaumarin becomes a kaumarin metabolite see here metabolic product of the kaumarin due to the enzyme that enzyme is called as a kaumarin metabolizing enzyme this is this fellow is nothing but a enzyme this person uh, 
he is taking each one molecule and break down and kaumarin and uh, removing metabolite it making a metabolite drug molecule these enzyme these type of fellows are present in the liver these are nothing but enzymes metabolizing enzyme so this is called as a kaumarin metabolizing enzyme breaks the kaumarin molecule into the kaumarin metabolites okay very good now what happen see here uh, many kaumarin molecules are there kaumarin metabolites are less only one fellow is there now what happen if you are taking a barbiturates along with the um, kaumarins what happen Num see barbiturate is called as a inducer increases the metabolic enzymes of the kaumarin okay you got the point now what happens see number of enzymes are three here one fellow become a three three fellow become a nine like that metabolic enzymes are increased by the barbiturate so what happen if you see here only one kaumarin molecule is there number of kaumarin metabolites are there whereas here see what happen barbiturates if you are taking along with the kaumarin kaumarin will become a waste because kaumarin is uh, with rapid fast with super fast express it will be metabolized because barbiturates increases the uh, number of enzymes of the kaumarin that's why this is called a inducer don't take see don't that's why i wrote here don't give barbiturates with the kaumarins why means kaumarin becomes waste barbiturate is called as a inducer okay uh, barbiturate increases the metabolism of the kaumarins see here all these are the inducer see barbiturates don't give kaumarin barbiturates don't give with phenytoin barbiturate don't give cortisol barbiturate don't give testosterone see all these are the drug drug interactions are there this is the biggest problem that's why i don't give this type of combination in the prescription even though if you saw the prescription you just change the drug or uh, first let let the one tablet uh, complete the one course later followed by you complete the one don't give two tablets at a time now one more interesting thing carbamazepine self self goal self suicide carbamazepine it increases its what uh, enzyme metabolizing enzyme see here carbamazepine drug molecule carbamazepine metabolites these are the carbamazepine metabolizing enzymes carbamazepine itself increases its own uh, uh, metabolizing enzymes this is very very important cbz carbamazepine is called as a bike super bike cbz in the short form that's why this is called a self induction self own auto induction automatically it increases okay now you can see the reverse process also okay you saw the in, uh, inducers now we can see the inhibitors opposite see here this is a phenytoin okay very good phenytoin here phenytoin metabolites these are the phenytoin metabolizing enzymes okay so uh, number of persons are there phenytoin if you taking a pass this decreases the phenytoin metabolizing enzyme okay so what happen if you are taking a para amino salicylic acid phenytoin metabolizing enzymes are reduced now what happen see the concentration is increased now free drug concentration is metabolizing decreased because metabolizing enzymes are uh, less here okay so pas plus phenytoin favors double action will be there okay so the, such a drugs are called as a inhibitors give pass para amino salicylic acid with phenytoin always pass increases the concentration of phenytoin synergistic like action both 1 plus 1 is equal to 3 synergistic action 1 plus 1 is equal to 2 additive action 1 plus 1 is equal to 0 antagonist effect simple formula simple very simple synergistic means 1 plus 1 is equal to 3 synergistic opposite in nature means 1 plus 1 is equal to 0 One plus one is equal to two. When additive effect, add additive. See, these are the inhibitors. Always you can give myo inhibitors with the barbiturates because uh, both were coordinative together. Coordinative together, it increases the action. So you will get a super action. One plus this is also bumper offer. Kaumarin plus phenytoin. See here, this combination. Hello, purinal. Uh, hello, purinal. Hello, hello, purinal with uh, mercaptan purin. okay pass with phenytoin now we saw pass with phenytoin hexabarbital like that okay so we have completed 
the metabolism process also with this okay so i will end my session here total subjects pharmacy subjects will be keep on uploading i will keep on uploading uh, total pharmacy subjects all it, it available in the my playlists